I'm Simon Ward, triathlon coach, and I have a few last minute tips for you about your race on Sunday, particularly concerning transition. So this is the uh, two part exercise. First part is where you go from the swimming pool to your bike, and the second part is where you come from your bike to the run transition. So the first thing is, you're going to be swimming. When you finish swimming, you can get out, get out of the pool, and you'll take your swim cap off, and you'll follow the exit out, not through the main entrance, but to probably a fire exit which you can check out before you start the swim. If you have any concerns at all about running outside um, in just a swim costume then you can get changed in the changing room inside the pool and then exit by the same route as everybody else. When you come out of the pool and down some steps there'll be a T0. This is an additional transition zone where you can get toweled off and you can put some running shoes on if you prefer and a t-shirt to run to your bike. If not you have 200 meters to run to your bike transition okay it will be a numbered slot for you only so your bike will already be set up there if you look to my left now you'll see the bike set up with a towel and my bike helmet bike shoes and running shoes right next to my bike so let's imagine I've just come out of the pool all right got to imagine this now good imagination I've come out of the pool I've got my swim shorts on I've come outside I'm going to run straight to my bike. So we go over here. First thing I'm going to do, top to bottom, I'm going to put my helmet on. Obviously, if you have any clothes you want to put on the bike ride, put those on first. Then put your helmet on. Okay? Make sure it's clipped up first. All right, helmet on. Bike shoes on. Remove your bike from the rack. And you now have to wheel it out of transition to the point where you can get on the bike called the mount line. So we're going to wheel it over here. And very big mistake here, it's in the wrong gear. Make sure it's in the right gear, a nice easy gear to start pedaling. Do that before you check in. Get onto your bike, past the mount line. Set off. Okay. your point where your bike was wrapped. You go into exactly the same spot, you rack your bike. Take your cycle shoes off next. Okay. Put your run shoes on, don't panic, no need to rush, just do it at a steady speed. Make sure they're laced up and then the final thing, just so you look good in your hel in your photographs, is to take the helmet off, leave it by your bike and follow the pre-assigned route out to transition onto your run. Now there's a few things here that you need to remember. Have a process, practice it, go from top to bottom, helmet down to shoes and then when you get off your bike go bottom to top and make sure you run through all of this or walk through all of this before you start your race after you've checked in you will be wearing a race number so i'd suggest putting it safety pins onto the front and the back but if you want to buy a number belt which is an elasticated belt that goes around your waist then they'll have those for you to buy and that's it simple really don't try to make it complicated don't rush just follow a simple pre-practice routine and you'll be fine on race day okay see you out there